Hello angels, um, Miss Quiet Queen, welcome back to my channel. I have so much going on right now, I'm going to um, probably be all over the place. So, um, please forgive me if I do. The first thing I wanted to say is, I want to say thank you to my friend Astro Boo Baby, ABB, what's up? He did a calibration for me. And um, I was very pleased with the results, and I was very flattered because it's pretty high. It's pretty up there. I don't get an opportunity to go out to your website as often as I do, brother, but I want you to know that um, I, it's some, I have so many irons in the fire, and I try to get out there as much as I can. I appreciate what you do for the community, what you do to uplift people. I love your spirit. I love your smile your candor and all that and I hope I'm making you blush right now um, if anybody's been living on a rock you don't know who ABB is just go to his channel Astro Boo Baby or um, go to AstroBooBaby.net he has his own website it's very beautiful nice forum to set up videos and things I have a, one video up out there I, I think I'll go out there um, when I get a chance um, so I just wanted to say thank you. I call him Big Papa. That's for me. I'm the only one that can do that. That's Big Papa. Because he has big ideas and just a big personality. And, um, so I, that's why I call him that. Just out of fun. And I love talking to him over the phone. He's very kind. So anyway, enough embarrassing Astro Boo Baby. I wanted to also say thank you to everyone once again for being supportive of my husband. Still in the hospital, and he will be down for the count for the next several weeks. He will be in the hospital for several weeks. He's really, really ill. I'm smiling, but because I have to, you know, I I have to stay strong. I'm worried, but yes, but I have to stay strong. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with all those type of details. I want to get straight to this video. I want to talk about a couple of things. Um, Agnikar is a religion of sound love and light now my friend big papa astro boo baby he did a calibration for agnikar and he found that it was very low for him however um i'm still feeling uh, um being drawn towards this religion and let me let me explain something to you um there are people they're called Ek Masters. Look up Eknakar. E C K N A K A R. This religion was right up my alley because they talk about um, dreams and how you can meet God through your dreams. How um, you know when you have it's like they talk about astral traveling and how to travel and you know how the act masters become omnipresent and don't get fooled by the name some people don't like to use that word master but that's just a title simply a title the living act master name is Harold Kemp Klemp. Um, he, I think he's in Minnesota and there's this I'm reading a book called the Tiger's Fang and also walk with the Tiger's Fang was written by an act master now his name is Tittle and I'm also reading a book by Philip Mortimorso. I think that's his name. I should have been more prepared. It's called A Walk with the Act Masters. And you can actually meet them on astral levels. Some of them guard different, um, d different levels of uh, the astral plane. I'm going to try to see if I can find a picture of them. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, is it another book that I have? I have individual. But anyway, well, I don't want to say that. Um, these act masters, some of, they all lived at one point in the physical body. Um, now they're all, all with the, um, with the exception of the living act master. They're all past, of course. And they can sometimes come to you in your dreams. Some people say they actually can see them in light form. The book, Walking with Eck Masters, is phenomenal. It's totally amazing. 
um, you just have to read the book. It is really amazing. You can go to the website and order these books. Um, there is a, a number that you can call. Um, it's called 1-800-LOVE-GOD or 1-800-568-3463 and get a, a free booklet on Agnikar and it explain it to you. Um, they do this chant called Hugh and Hugh is a love song to God. You just go Hugh Hugh for about 20 minutes every day and I, I'm telling you it, it, it does work. It makes you feel connected. Um, this is, I probably would do another video on Acnecar, but I got to get out of here right now. I just felt the need to do a video. Sometimes, most of the time when I do my videos, I have no intentions on doing a video that day. I just, I'm drawn to it. And a lot of times I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. So, um, I just wanted to let you all know that. So um, I feel like this is a large subject and I have a few people that's asking me to do a video on Agnikar and some of you already know a little bit about it and want to know more about it. But I want to say this, I have a couple things to say. Before I even knew anything about Agnikar, and I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you the truth, I met an Act Master. I wish I could find his picture. Um, his name is Rebizar Tars. Now, the lady that I'm working with here in Cincinnati who's been in Ecnacar for over 30 years told me that typically when you, she said Rebizar Tars get around. Um, typically when you see an act master a lot in your dreams or the first one you see, that means that you had some type of relationship with that person in a past life. Now, he lived on earth thousands of years ago. Here's another act master. His name is Fubi Kwans. I've seen him in my dream. Um, remember I just had that video I just put up the other day, uh, yesterday or so, day before yesterday, and I said I, and I was using those ancient words, those um, true words, and I saw act masters like a, like a big on a big poster board and they were all smiling and like they were interacting with me although they were on this poster board. He was one of them that was on there. In fact, all of the 10 that I am aware of now were on there, but plus there were like 30 more. If Rebazar Tarez came to me in my dream, go look at that video I did, a video response to Astro Boo Baby's um, lucid dreaming, being attacked by dogs. Um, I talked about this dog that attacked me and while I was drowning, I finally figured out a way to get rid of the dog so it wouldn't come back in my dreams anymore. I put him in a bag and I created water because it was a lucid dream. I created water and I drowned the dog in the water. And as I was looking up, I saw this man sitting across the water in a chair and he looked like he had on a monk's robe. And his hair looked like an afro at that time to me. And um, he, he was about my skin tone, and uh, he was smiling. And I, I knew I was lucid dreaming, and I created everything that I'd done in that dream, but I did not create him. I did not think of him. I, why would I do that? And now I'm thinking to myself, who is this man, and why is he just staring at me smiling? And, you know, I don't know who he is. I'm trying to find his picture, y'all. And so... When I learned about Agnikar, I, I saw the, the commercial, so I ordered the book, and then they told me about somebody here in Cincinnati who lives like five minutes away from me. And then another young lady that I know, she lives three minutes away from me. We're starting, we're into it at the same time. We, we all became friends, and it's just so ironic how this is happening, and I don't know why I can't find his picture, y'all. I want y'all to see his picture. This, and because when I saw, oh, here's a, the only female act master that I know of. Her name is Katadaki. Katadaki. She's like well over 2,000 years old, but people say they actually see her. Um, 
And when I was uh, talking to my friend, my that was in act, that has been in active care for a long time, and she told me about Rob Lazar tires. And she said it sounded like you describing him. And I looked at the picture of them, of these act masters, and I said, "Oh my God, that's the man in my dreams." That's him. And I just saw his picture. I'm, I'm getting too excited. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to find this picture for y'all so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see who I saw in my dreams when I was... So anyway, Agna Car... Oh, while I'm looking for this, I'll just... Oh, here is a... Here is, uh, Paul Twitchell, I said Tittle, Twitchell. I'm reading his book, The Tiger's Fang. Okay, it's a pretty good book. Um, so anyway, I I'll tell y'all this. I've decided that I came to the decision that I'm going to quit church. It's not in that book, that's why. I'm going to stop going to church. I feel like I'm being a bit hypocritical. I feel like I'm not getting what I need. Here he is. I'm not getting what I need spiritually. I mean, and I talked to my pastor. I love my pastor. Don't get me wrong. I love him. I'm not going to mention his name. He's a nice, nice, nice man. Um... But when I told him that I was being stalked by fairies, I felt like there were entities stalking me. He kind of looked at me like I was crazy and gave me some book called Demon Possession and asked me to read it. Um, I kind of, that's the first time he ever made me feel um, disrespected. And, um, you know, he, he just didn't touch base on it. I don't know why a lot of Christian preachers run from that. And, um... So anyway, I, I decided, well, church is just not for me. I like the church that I go to because I, I love the feeling of people, you know, getting together and just the spirit is good um, for the most part. There are some snobby people in there, but for the most part, it's I like it because there's not... People don't jump up and hoop and holler and have the Holy Ghost. I'm not knocking nobody if that's what you do in church. I just don't think it's necessary. I think it's fake. I think a lot of times it's put on. A lot of times people do that for show. I don't like when preachers, when they preach, they take this deep. I shouldn't be so shallow, maybe. I just, I don't pay attention when you make all that noise with your voice and you get to hearing that gurgling. Ah, just preach the word. I mean, why you got to do all that? He doesn't do that. There's not a lot of people jumping around and hooping and hollering and all of that. You know, maybe somebody that come to visit, but for the um, the congregation that's been there for years, we just don't do that. You know, but there's a lot of different things that I don't like that makes me uncomfortable. I'm very serious about my spirituality. I want I come to a congregation, I want to learn. Don't ask me to turn and shake somebody's hand. Don't ask me to say, tell them the guy's got your back. I don't want to do that. I don't I don't I'm sorry. That might be a small thing. Some of you might say, well that's just a little I don't want to do that. I didn't come to get those type of instructions. If they want to hear that God said whatever, let them read the Bible or have their spiritual connection their way. Don't tell me to turn and say, I love you. I don't want to say that. Maybe I don't feel that right now. Maybe I need you to give me something else. And I don't want to turn to my neighbor and shake their hands and do all that. I just, I don't know. I don't know. And that's one of the things, Many those are a few of many things that I'm um, not happy with. And then, um, I'm sorry. I just do not believe Jesus Christ is going to come back in the physical form. I don't. I guess he could because I believe in Act Masters, you know, that they can do that. I guess he probably could, but um, I don't believe that people should worship Jesus. Churches worship Jesus. Jesus even said in the Bible, don't worship me, worship my Father. And people 
worship Jesus, they use his name more than, than they use God's name. I never understood that. So I'm not going to get all into it. I probably made a few people upset. Oh, well, that's how I feel. Um, I don't. I really am saddened the fact that I got to quit going to church. But I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to, you know, um, teach and talk about the things that I talk about on my videos and turn around and go to church. There's someone, um, one of my subscribers, baby boy, hey. He told me about a young lady that does videos. Um, something love. I forgot her first name, but I, I went and looked her up. Um, Veronica Love or something like that. Um, and I looked her up last night, and she calls herself a Christian witch. I really like her videos. I know exactly what she's feeling. She says she's a reverend, so I know exactly how she's feeling. And I, I'm going to keep on, I, maybe I'll try to contact her. But anyway, this is the Echo Master that I saw in my dreams. That's what he looks like. His name is Ribazar, Ribazar Tars. R-E-B-A-Z-A-R-T-A-R-Z-S. I wish I could read this short story to y'all about him. It's, it's written by, um, I'm going to show you his picture because it's in this book. Acne, the journal, Aknakar journal. Um, I buy a young man that's in Aknakar. Um, how much time do I have on here? Oh, I'm already at 16 minutes. Well, I don't want to go too far, but <clears throat> gosh, I really want to read this. But anyway, maybe I will read a few of these stories on another video. But that's him, and that is exactly who who I saw in my dreams. You can't see the, the darkness of his skin in this picture. But, um, that, and look at the monk's robe, y'all. I mean, I'm just like, that's who I saw. That's him. That's him. And I didn't, I had this dream like in 2005. I know nothing about Agna Carr. But what I'm what they're telling me is that the Act Masters and the Living Act Masters and Agna Carr is a part of your life whether you realize it or not. These Act Masters are around whether you realize it or not. Do y'all know how much love and protection that we all have? If we all wake up at the same time or at least around the same time, Man, these evil entities and the so-called powers that be or the powers that were, as ABB checked me on, um, they would not have a leg to stand on. All these secret societies that, I don't know, tell me if this happens to you. I'm getting so many letters from so-called secret societies. This letter is only for you. Don't tell anybody. Um, we want you to join us. and. That's another video. They, they're they starting to tick me off. I'm getting so many letters. But if we all wake up at the same time, they would not have a leg to stand on. They don't want you to know um, certain things and uh, about your power, beloved. You have so much power. So um, before I shut this video down, I just want to tell you, I don't pay anybody to go to your Akashic Records. Don't pay anybody to um, tell you um, about your angels or anything. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to take anybody's money, but you can do it yourself. If you're not ready or you don't know, you just don't know how, you just don't have enough patience, go ahead. Okay, go ahead and do that. But I'm just saying, you don't have to. All you have to do is, is chant, do your hue chants, play your chakras, cleanse your area, um, and, and do it yourself. Okay? If you want something done right, do it yourself. Okay. I got to get going. I will come back and do another video. I feel like I just scratched the surface. There's so much that I want to say right now. But um, I'm going to go have lunch. Go see my husband. And go pick up my granddaughter. Maybe I should do a day in the life so y'all can see how, exactly how busy I am. And then... Um, wait for my daughter to pick up my granddaughter then I'm going to go work out tonight and we'll do some exercise lose some more weight
Can you tell I lost some weight? So anyway, I can't wait to come back later on tonight and do another video on this. So I will um, talk to you all later. Don't forget to race, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, angels. Love you like play, cousins. Stay in the light. Maybe I shouldn't cut it off. Need to learn how to edit. Bye.